if it is an ohm. You all finished with today's training? I still remember when you were only this tall. And now look at you. Sir Mycin has certainly made a strong young man out of you. I say Sir Mycin, but the story is your grandfather was once a famous general. General Mycin. <laughs> I always wondered why such a fellow would end up here. Then again, the woods around Ram have become dangerous as of late. Perhaps it's for the best that we have him, and you, to keep us safe. This fellow's here to see Sir Mycin. He was just about to tell us more. Sorry, pal, but I still can't trust a man in full armor. Keep one hand on your hilt while you talk to this guy, yeah? A knight? Can you believe it? What's he doing in our village? You'd have to practically ride off the edge of the map to find this place. He's sure come a long way just to find a whole lot of nothing. Whatever he's here for, I hope he hasn't brought any trouble with him. Uh, Ohm! How was sword practice? Everything go okay? Sir Mycin is far too hard on you. I hope you don't have any new bruises. Good day. You must be Sir Mycin's grandson. Ohm, was it? My name is Lucas. I fight for the Deliverance. The Deliverance? What's that? Aren't you one of the Knights of Zofia? The King's Knights? Oh, I see. I suppose that means word hasn't yet reached your village. In that case, please forgive me for heralding such dark news, but... King Lima IV is dead. He met his end some days ago at the hands of Chancellor Desai. What? You're saying it was regicide? I fear so. It seems to say sold Sophia to the Regalian Empire, along with his soul. No doubt they promised him lands, perhaps even a title. Upon Lima's death, the Chancellor and the Regalian army seized Sophia Castle and began to visit unspeakable injustices upon the King's people. Sir Clive, of the Knights of Sophia you mentioned, would have none of it. He formed an army to free us from Regal and named it the Deliverance. However, we are outmatched and fast losing this war. We need a hero's aid. And so, I have come to the home of one of Zofia's greatest heroes, Sir Mycin. Do you see, Alm? Sir Clive would not have sent me were it not urgent. Will you take me to see your grandfather? Uh, yes, of course. Good goblets. I knew Zofia was in hot water, but is this guy serious? So there's going to be a war? There already is one from the sound of things. But that's... that's awful. If Sir Mycin rides off to war, what'll happen to Ulm? Got me. <sighs> Lucas, were you able to speak with my grandfather? What did he say? He said no. Sir Mycin made it clear he has no intention of joining the Deliverance. What? But he's ridiculously strong. He could defeat some stuffy Chancellor with his eyes closed. Why would he refuse when so many people are suffering? I cannot speak to Sir Mycin's thinking, but it seems we misplaced our hopes. I'll have to return to our hideout and bring Sir Clive the ill news. Perhaps Mycin has simply grown too old for the battlefield. <laughs> it was good meeting you, Alm. I must be on my way. Thank you again for your assistance. He's not old. He's tougher than men half his age. Lucas! Wait! Alm? Um, what is it? I'll go. I'll join the Deliverance. You? Oh, what the hell? You can't do that. 
Wait, can he do that? I'll admit, you fight like a beast and they'd be lucky to have your sword. But this isn't sparring with your gramps, Alm. You're volunteering to go to war. I know what it is. And if Grandfather won't do it, then I'll do it for him. Consider my sword as his. Alm, um, I understand how you feel, but... Sir Mycin has been teaching me to use a blade since I was a boy. I've received tutelage in military tactics, medicine, weather, terrain. I know as much about war as any man who has never seen one can. Let me fight for you with my grandfather's gifts. I'll prove he's no cowardly old man. He's a warrior who trains warriors. Hmm. That might just work. Huh? Then you mean... Oh, come on. You can't be serious. Why not? Alm presents a good case. He has a hero's blood in him, and clearly a hero's fire. His presence is sure to raise the troops' morale. And for my part, I'm curious to see what a self-proclaimed warrior can do. Especially now that he'll be doing it for the Deliverance. Thank you, Lucas. You won't regret this. Uh, I've seen a lot of cake-taking in my day. This really takes the cake. Alm, you should back out of this. It's far too dangerous. If anything were to happen to you, I'd... I mean... Just don't do it, okay? I'm sorry, Faye, but I've made up my mind. But... Maybe all of you could come with me. Uh, what? Splendid idea. Maybe we could all get impaled on the same lance. <sighs> I'm just saying we could do it together. Fighting, I mean, not the lance. Grandfather trained all of us, right? Not just me. You already know how to use a sword and a bow. So what's the problem? Oh, um, are you insane? We were sparring with wooden fences and tree trunks. They don't hit back. Oh, sod it all. I'm not as bright as I'd like to think I am, so, uh, count me in. Gray, not you too. Me too, Toby Poo. It's better than waiting for Regel to reach Ram and kill slash enslave us. Might as well bring the fight to them. But you're gonna... I mean, once they... Uh... You have my thanks, Gray, and the Deliverance welcomes you. In the end, we need every able fighter we can get. There will be much to learn, but I can teach you a great deal in battle. And you'll be given a proper wage, of course. Wait, uh, you mean we get paid? As in actual money? Of course. Our soldiers work hard and sacrifice much. We would be remiss not to offer compensation. <sighs> I've got little brothers and sisters who could use that gold. Ma and Pa struggle to make ends meet. But if there's a way to help... Hmm... Tobin, you don't have to go if you don't want to. Why don't you all take a little time to think about it? Let's split up for now and meet back here later. I need to go thank my grandfather and say goodbye. Grandfather, I'm home. Do you have a minute? There's something I need to speak with you about. Grandfather? Hmm. Huh. Where is he? Grandfather? Grandfather! There he is. Oh, I'm over here. Tobin, does this mean you're coming with us? Sure am. I can tell Ma and Pa were worried, but I think they'll understand. Listen, everyone. Try not to be amazed when I show Alm up on the battlefield. You know they don't pay extra for that, right, Moneybags? There's nothing wrong with fighting for coin. Many people do. We don't have any rules stating one's reasons must be noble. Now then, Alm. Were you able to say goodbye to your grandfather? I tried, but I couldn't find him. Well, that is vexing. I suppose we could tarry here a bit longer if you... It's all right. Let's go. Oh, are you certain? I can write him a letter. Come on. We can't wait forever. So be it. I'll defer to your judgment.
You know, I guess I don't mind going along. The Deliverance is fighting all across Sophia, right? Well, I've always wanted to see the world, and now's my chance. All I have to do is not get killed. Easy, right? I'm coming too. I'm staying with you no matter what. End of discussion. sure about this? Am I sure about what? Not saying goodbye to your grandfather. My ma and pa have all my brothers and sisters to look after them. I mean, sure, they'll miss me. <laughs> or I hope they will, at any rate. But family will help them get by, you know? But all Sir Mycin has for kin is you. And all you have is him. I know. But considering he's never let me take one step outside the village... I doubt I could have talked him into letting me join an army. Not that it would have changed things either way. I have to go. Not just to prove him as a teacher, but to prove myself to me. Well, you've always wanted to put Ram behind you, right? This is your big chance. Your first adventure writ large. We'll call it Alms Epic. Or maybe The Tale of Grey. Plus that one guy. <laughs> I don't think so. Although, I admit, there might be a little something to what you're saying. It's almost as if I feel someone calling out to me. So you really have gone crazy, then? Well, it's been nice knowing you. <laughs> Look, I know how it sounds, but it's the truth. Do you think it's Celica? What? Celica? <laughs> Where the heck did that come from? Oh, please. You two were inseparable while she was here. You barely made any time for us. I guess that's true. Maybe it is her. Celica, are you the one who's been calling me? I know that you're out there. I just don't know where, but I can feel it. I hope this journey will bring us together again. First, we should make for the southern outpost. The Say's men hold it for now, but my fellows in the Deliverance have been fighting to reclaim it. The Deliverance hideout lies beyond the outpost. We'd best prepare ourselves for a long journey. Travelers, afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to stop right there. These here woods belong to me and my boys, see? So if you want to be passing through, you're gonna have to pay the toll. <laughs> well, that didn't take long. Brigands already? But it's only been minutes. We're still within sight of the gates. Worse surprises than this await us all. Is everyone ready? Yes. Come on. Let's clear this rabble out. Follow me. I'll clear us a path. Alm, if I may, you mustn't rush headlong into battles on your own. Without experience, your friends will never grow into accomplished fighters. Trust them. Give them something to do. At least let them deal the final blow. <sighs> right. That's good advice. I'll give it a try.
<laughs> Stand back. Allow me. Just say the word. Nothing on me! Besides that. Took it to him. Yes! We won! That was some fine swordsmanship, Alm. I can see you have more than a bit of your grandfather in you. <laughs> you think so? 